review of the Y3 or Y2000 mini camera. It's claimed to be the smallest camera in the world. I don't know about that, but it, it is the smallest camera I've ever had. The back functions do nothing. The button up top does something. I'll turn on so you can see it. Just press it there. You know, you got a long press to turn on until the light comes on. Lights on now. Press it once. It just took a picture. Hold down. It was two seconds and then it'll start blinking. Now it's recording. Press it and it'll stop recording. This is the front of the camera. This is a lanyard strap, but I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. I am going to try to put it on my keys, the keychain part of my keys, and hold it like this on my keys. Now, I do think this has a timer where if you don't use it for a few seconds, it'll shut off all by itself. We'll leave it on and let, let's see because it was charging last night. It's fully charged now. I don't know how long this camera lasts for. 8 gigs is plenty for this if you don't do a long video. 8 gigs is plenty for this. Now, I would not do any indoor video recording or any indoor video uh, picture taking. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't take any pictures at all with this thing because it's not a picture camera, but the ability to is there. Problem is, I wish they would make the viewfinder in the back real. Because if it was real, then you could put your eye up to it, look, and take a shot. And I'm looking right now, and I'll put a shot. Sorry that my TV went off, you know me. Unit. I'll take a picture right now of my tablet right there, so give me a second to, to do that. Like I normally would. I right, turn my camera on. And I'll include it in the picture. And I'll take a picture of my of my sister's Mickey Mouse. And a picture of me recording myself. All right, so these pictures will all be in the video portion. So stay tuned. Next, we're going to do the picture. So here is a couple of pictures. guys you just saw the picture quality yeah it's not that good indoors i know this thing i wish i had a flash on it but then that would defeat the purpose of being the wall world's smallest camera in the world now this thing the uh you may want to when you use the on the video portion when you use this you may want to see if you can get the stabilization to work it may work may not work but we'll have to see okay guys so now i'm going to show you the uh uh, the video portion of this to let you know the time and date stamp will not work uh, I mean will not be erased. I set it to the right time and date so it's correct But it will not erase itself. You cannot erase it I've erased it and tried to put it on my desktop and it still came back so you cannot erase it I'm going to show you the memory card I have right now <clears throat> The SanDisk memory card here 8 gig and it's class 10 so i haven't found any problems with the class 10 cards so the guy who did his video on the y3000 if you ever get a hold of this video yes uh this video does the, the class 10 cards do work the best uh i got for 20 something dollars at best buy at store credit so yeah all right now here is the video portion Hi guys, today I think I got my new blog camera. This is the Y2000, smallest camera in the world, mini camera. I think I use it as a blog camera. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, we're just gonna go downstairs and take my dog up for a walk. It was raining yesterday, so it's pretty cool out today. Uh, I think this is gonna be my blog camera. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Um, We'll see if this is going to be my vlog camera. Um, yeah, so we're just walking around with it right now. 
and uh, it is pretty cold out. It's wet and it's raining today. It was raining yesterday. It was terrible. Uh, there's a bird sitting over there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, right there, the dog scares it off. Annoying dog scaring birds away. And they shit on the uh, ground there. <laughs> uh, anyway, there's a car right there. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. This camera takes terrible pictures. But I am going to take outdoor pictures. It's not an indoor camera. I can tell you that much right now. The video quality indoors and the, and the picture quality indoors is just massively terrible indoors. Uh, no, the audio on this one, surprisingly, the, the guy that I watched the video doing the Y3000 said that his video quality was terrible. Well, it's not that rubbish. It's not that bad. I mean, it's an okay quality. It's just that... The picture here is too zoomed in on my camera, and the quality is fine. I did a backup test with it yesterday, and I was backing myself up as far as I could, and the farther away, I, the less I could hear, but the closer, like, mid-range, I could hear very fine. But this is just a video here of me doing this today, so uh, I think it's okay. Uh, very windy, looks like it is going to rain, like, cloudy today, uh, I don't know. My dog just walking around here, like, I can extend the leash, right? today because his mother, my sister, left out an extendo leash. So we'll see with the extendo leash what's going to happen here. And uh, yeah, so this is part one of the video. I have Windows Wii Maker made, I'm um, I, I made, sorry, on my computer now so I can edit these two videos together. I'm just doing a uh, view like this and then I'm going to hang it down on my shirt. So thanks for watching this portion of the video. Stay tuned for part two. Okay guys, this is part two of the video here. Uh, you can see how the camera works uh, down below my shirt here. If I just stand here, you can kind of see stuff. Now I know the original video is sideways, but I believe Windows Movie Maker has a, a way to fix that. Uh, but when you're walking, you'll have to hold the camera. And uh, I'm not going to pick my dog scoop up here, so give me a second. You have to hold the camera when you're walking. Uh, I don't know, maybe you want to like have like a, you can't like, but have like some tape on your shirt or something. The camera still goes sideways, I see. Even if you have tape on it, so it really won't matter if you have tape on it or not. Uh, the camera is meant to just not be obtrusive, not be seen. Uh, it keeps trying to go sideways. So you can kind of see my dog with my yellow shirt over there. I apologize, it keeps going sideways. So it's really windy right now, but this is just it. I just want to give you guys a review of the Y3000 video. Uh, I'm doing a review on it, uh, a full review. This video is a full review. Thanks to Windows Movie Maker, I can do a, a webcam review. I can do a, two, uh, two shots with this camera at two angles, and I can leave it. You can see the camera today it wants to just go at its own pace and go anywhere it wants. Instead of staying right where I want it to, it's just a little flimsy. Uh, it's hard to hold in the hand, I mean, very hard to hold in the hand, it's just so tiny, it's just, a pin, it's <laughs> like a pinhole camera, I just even trying to take it off my neck, trying to adjust it, it's just a terrible, terrible, terrible camera, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's not that terrible, other than, um, all the way outside, but indoors, forget it, and try taking indoor pictures and forget it. This thing is an outdoor camera, action camera, not a good camera, I mean not a good camera at all to be taking pictures. And I'm just standing here straight, not moving the camera at all, and that's the wind blowing right now, and it is just awful, awful, just shaking the camera around, the wind's just shaking it around, you know, it's just awful right now, the wind, so, yeah, if you have it just sitting down on the side of your neck, like I do, don't bother using it in record mode in a windy situation because you even it's even blowing my dog's uh, bag out of my hand right now so yeah hopefully we're not getting the poop in the shot but hey what you got when you get a dog and you have the option to take the dog out and to record like this so I'm just gonna keep walking because he wants to start walking again and I want to start walking again. You can see how the camera lurks and jerks around while you're walking. So it wouldn't be a good scenario to 
be walking with. It would not be a good scenario to walk around with the camera on your shirt. You'll have to just like hold it there, steady, and if you're holding it steady down on your shirt, it's like somebody's watching you and they, they'll know that you're recording something. So I really don't know of a good way to uh, hold the camera uh, anyway. Uh, I don't know of a good way to hold it down camera because, you know, it's just obtrusive. I mean, you can have a piece of tape on your shirt, but then when you have the piece of tape on your shirt, it looks like it's still, the camera still shakes about. But then somebody would know something's up if you had the piece of tape on your shirt. I think that's the route I'm going to take with this camera when I use it. When I go walking with it. I'm going to put a piece of tape on. I'm holding it right now with my finger on my shirt. And it doesn't seem to be shaking about that much. So it's still shaky, but not shaking it that much. So I think that's the route I'm going to take when I use the, act, the camera out and about. So I'll have it taped to my shirt. So uh, the only downside to taping it to my shirt is... I may have to get a piece of velcro or something is that um you, you can't pick it up to uh see if it's recording i'll see if i can uh yeah i can i can pick it up to see if it's recording <laughs> now the camera can be the wrong way than i did that but anyway yeah i can pick it up to see if it's recording and uh it still is recording now i took this out and uh excuse me i'm gonna sneeze for a second <laughs> there had sneezed. I took this out in high light situations yesterday for the first day I had it and in high light situations like bright light situations you can't tell if the camera's recording you cannot tell if it's recording you're not able to tell if the camera's recording you're not able to tell anything about the camera you can't tell if it's recording although when you go out into uh, from the dark area to the light area then you're gonna have to figure out if it's recording or not then You'll have to figure out. But yeah, the tape scenario thing works just fine. I guess you gotta be careful because you're gonna be wasting a lot of tape. Scotch tape just holding it on your shirt would be fine. Uh, this is something where somebody walks by me right now, they look at me funny because of the way I'm holding the camera. Alright, guys, well, I was just doing a video test. Obviously, my dog wants to go back upstairs because he's really windy and cold right now. He doesn't want to be out here, apparently. So, uh, yeah. I uh, will take one last panorama shot here of my house. So yeah, if you use the Y3000, sorry, the Y, yeah, Y3000 or Y2000 with your uh, lanyard, put this tape on your shirt because that'll hold the lanyard in a way where the camera won't shake about. It'll barely shake about, and you know it'll just be when you have it held down on you and recording at all times. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Alrighty guys, you just saw two video portions. One of me holding the camera like this and one of me holding the camera down sideways like this. Um it's it, it, the camera is an okay camera, I can tell you. Um I am gonna have to hold it on my shirt like when I when I put it on my shirt the tape scenario is going to work the best, as you saw in the second video. Tape scenario, taping it down, maybe putting a piece of tape on the back of it and taping it to my shirt. I'm going to try that a little bit later, once I get dressed, and a little bit later. But taping it down maybe like this to my shirt and letting it tape there will work. I may even get a piece of Velcro. I really don't know about the Velcro scenario because I don't want to keep taking the Velcro on and off. But I may get a piece of Velcro or something and put Velcro on it and so I can just Velcro it to my shirt and I'll just sit there like that on my shirt and have no problems. I don't know, but anyway, thanks for watching the video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know if you want to let me do my blogs with this. I don't know if the memory is going to let me do it. I may need to swap out cards. I have a 16 gigabyte in my phone. So I may end up swapping out cards for 8 gig in my phone and 16 gigs in here. <coughs> I really don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. But we'll have to see. I don't know where my phone is right now. Anyway, we'll have to see. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. And down in the comments below, let me know if you want me to continue using this. I will start using this as a blog camera. Uh, I'm going to take it to the mall tomorrow. I'm going to go to the mall tomorrow just to walk around during the day on the bus. And I'm going to see how this works in the mall. 
So anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you later.